Hello, this is Aloisa with Math Leopard, and today we're going to visualize a change of basis in two space. Let's consider a vector v positioned at the origin, pictured here in orange. We know that the two unit vectors in the direction of x and y axes are called e1 and e2, respectively. As pictured, vector v is given as 3, 2, which means that we go out to 3 times the length of e1, and then go up to twice the length of E2, where E1 and E2 are the vectors of the standard basis B. That is, V is equal to 3 times E1 plus 2 times E2. Now let's consider a second and different basis given by B prime, which is equal to the span of the vectors 3 comma 1 and 2 comma 3, denoted by U1 and U2 respectively. Our goal is to find the coefficients of vector v with respect to basis b prime. In order to do this, we set up an augmented matrix, wherein the desired basis lies to the left of the augment and the original basis to its right. For us, this yields 3, 1 in the first column and 2, 3 in the second. Then after the augment, we have 1, 0 and 0, 1. We note that in order to zero out the 1 on the bottom left of the matrix, we can take 3 times row 2 minus row 1. So row 1 remains unchanged, but now row 2 must have its entries multiplied by 3, and then we subtract the corresponding entries from them from row 1. So the second row becomes 3 times 1 minus 3, which equals to 0, then 3 times 3 minus 2, which is equals to 7, then on the right of the augment we get 3 times 0, minus 1, which is equals to negative 1, and finally 3 times 1 minus 0, which is equals to 3. We note that in order to zero out the 2 in the top row to the left of the augment, we must first multiply row 1 by 7, then subtract twice row 2 from the corresponding entries. Now row 2 remains the same, that is 0, 7, negative 1, and 3. Row 1 now becomes 7 times 3 minus 2 times 0 equals to 21 in the first component, then 7 times 2 minus 2 times 7 equals to 0, and now to the right, we'll have 7 times 1 minus 2 times a negative 1, which is equals to 9, and then 7 times 0 minus 2 times 3 equals to negative 6. The final step in order to get the identity matrix on the left of the augment is to divide the entries in the first row by 21 and the entries in the second by 7. What results is the identity on the left and the matrix with first row 9 over 21 equals to 3 over 7 and negative 6 over 21 equals to negative 2 over 7 and second row negative 1 over 7 and 3 over 7. This matrix to the right of the augment is our transition matrix which takes the component vector of v with respect to the initial basis and translate it into the component vector of v with respect to the second basis. So now let's compute how to express the vector v equals to 3 comma 2 with respect to basis b prime using our transition or change of basis matrix. In order for easier calculations, I factored the 1 7th from each entry outside of the matrix. So the entry in the first row and first column takes the entries in the first row of our matrix and multiplies them with the entries in the first column of our vector written as a column matrix. That is quantity 3 times 3 plus quantity negative 2 times 2. That is 9 minus 4 equals to 5 over 7. Now taking the second row of our matrix and multiplying it by the corresponding entries of vector v, we get the quantity negative 1 times 3 plus 3 times 2, which is negative 3 plus 6 equals to 3 over 7. So this is a component vector of v with respect to basis b prime, that is, with respect to vectors u1 and u2. Hence, v can be written as a linear combination of u1 and u2, namely 5 sevenths the vector 3 comma 1 plus 3 sevenths the vector 2 comma 3 which graphically means we go out to a length of 5 sevenths the vector u1, and add to that a length of 3 sevenths the vector u2 in the direction of u2. Tip to tail method. 
in order to arrive at vector v in 2 space. And we note that it's the same vector v regardless of which basis we use to represent the space. So distributing, we note that 5 sevenths times 3 plus 3 sevenths times 2 yields 21 sevenths, or 3 in the first component, and 5 sevenths times 1 plus 3 sevenths times 3 yields 14 sevenths, or 2 in the second. Hence, the vector 5 sevenths comma 3 sevenths with respect to basis b prime is the same vector as 3 comma 2 in the standard basis b. Thanks for playing and I'll see you next time.